Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and as you will have seen by the title, today I am trying a full face of She Glam products. Now She Glam is owned by the brand Sheen, I think. She Sheen, Sheen. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but you will find the website linked in the description box below for you to check out. I've got hair tickling my neck. So yes, you'll find that in the description box below. The only product I don't have is a mascara and that's because I already have a mascara that I use and love and it would just be a waste. So I've been so excited for this because everything's affordable. So yeah, let's crack on. So for primer I have, it's the She Glam Birthday Skin Primer Smoothing Rose. I don't remember there being an alternative. Oh, it comes with a little a little spoon as well. How cute is that? It's in this really, I think it's plastic, but how fancy does that look? Really fancy. And it's got the little stopper lid. Nice. Wow. I think what this reminds me of is like the Elf Poreless Putty Primers. So let's... <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool I'm easily pleased for any of you that are new so let's I think I may have taken too much there actually oh well we'll put some on the neck I will know for next time not to take so much I think I just got a bit carried away with the with the little spoon well, it feels really nice going on and it it does actually first impressions feel so much like the elf Paulus putty primer and i am not mad at that yeah i think maybe if you do oh it does actually smell of roses so if you don't like the smell of roses you're probably not gonna like this because yeah it does smell of roses but it does feel really, really nice on the skin. Yeah, my skin's looking pretty good. As you can see, my skin's quite clear at the moment, and that is, I've been using a new product from, Art no, not Artitude Cosmetics, from the owner of Artitude Cosmetics. The brand is by Rux, and it's the Glow Getter Oil, and you can see for yourselves what it's done. Amazing. Anyways, that's not why we're here today. So yeah, that feels really nice. And yeah, I definitely used too much. So I'm just making sure I press it right in <laughs> before we go into foundation. Yes, I have a foundation and a concealer. So let's pop the lid back on this one. Now I'm hoping I've got the colour right in this, but I have the She Glam Complexion Pro Long Lasting breathable matte foundation that is quite the mouthful and it says here introducing the all new she glam complexion pro long lasting breathable matte foundation this next level water and sweat proof formula is free of fragrance that's going to appeal to a lot of you and packed with non pore clogging ingredients like cbd oil whilst also remaining breathable and lightweight on the skin each face-loving shade delivers a semi-matte, filter-like finish for a look that's flawless yet natural every time you apply it. Wear this long-wearing, buildable foundation to the gym or to a night out with the girls. It's a complexion perfecting pro, no matter where the day or night takes you. That, that's some big claims there. Some big claims. Now I need to get it out of the box. And, oh, okay. So it comes in this little kind of velvety feeling bag and okay fancy so the stuff does look fancy it looks like an expensive packaging so I've already shaken it well it has a pump which I'm happy about so I've picked up both a beauty blender and a foundation brush so I'm going to do one each each side just to see if it applies any differently so let's pop a bit of foundation back on my oh it doesn't look to be a bad color match 
Okay, so this side of my face is going to be Beauty Blender. Yeah, okay, the colour match actually is really, really good. Really, really good. Okay. Try and make sure I don't go over. Although I will do my nose because I don't want to end up putting two lots on my nose and here. Okay, so it's going on really evenly. It doesn't feel heavy. Definitely the right colour. Look at that. Bonus. Um, as expected, it the Beauty Blender the sponge does soak up rather a lot of the foundation. Excuse my phone keep going off. I never put my phone on silent because I'm always paranoid that there'll be an emergency and no one will be able to get hold of me. Not that I would be much use in an emergency at the moment, but yeah. Okay, let's have a closer look. Okay, coverage is pretty good. Doesn't look cakey. I do have bits stuck to me though. Okay, not bad at all. So I'm, it did use a lot of the foundation, so I am gonna pump a bit more on my hand and go in with the brush. And let's see how it applies with the brush. If there's any difference, we shall find out. But because they had both, I really wanted to kind of give the foundation a good a good go because some foundations do work better with one or the other. So hmm, we shall see. This brush actually is really nice. It feels really soft. Really nice. Bring it down the neck slightly just to blend in. Okay. Right, so let's have a look. So this here is the side with the beauty blender and then this here is the side with the brush i don't actually think there is much of a difference at all i think there's slightly more coverage with the brush so i'm going to just quickly dab the brush over this side just to make sure they're completely even but it looked just as nice both sides i would have been just as happy to go out with having used the sponge um for concealer i'd also have a concealer brush and oh i didn't even say what shade my foundation was so before i move on to concealer the shade of foundation i have is warm vanilla and then for concealer i hope i've got the right shade because i do just have the one this is the She Glam Versatile Flawless Concealer. I have it in the shade 203 Tahiti. And it says a versatile, creamy, long wear liquid concealer with color correcting shades to brighten the under eye area and conceal troubled areas. Blend and flawlessly conceal your dark circles, redness, hyperpigmentation, age spots, and discoloration with a luminous matte finish. Concealer colours are packed with hydrating ingredients to offer you a light as air feel and buildable coverage for all skin types. Cover and perfect anywhere you want. Corrector colours could help you with blah, 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 blah. Right, <laughs> take this out of the box. So this, there's a lot of concealer there. This is uh, 25 grams of concealer. Okay, and if we open the lid, it's a squeezy one. So I'm just going to pop 
a bit on the back of my hand there and by a bit I clearly as usual mean a lot not done on purpose so right so the concealer brush it, it just looks pretty damn nice so let's first I'm gonna just go for it under eyes definitely too much there we'll bring it down here as well well again this brush feels very soft and nice the color match is a good match just look in the mirror I haven't got well obviously I haven't got my glasses on you can see that so let's okay this is this is looking hopeful Wow. I'm hoping this doesn't go cakey or anything with powder because so far my base looks pretty good. Let's just hope I'm not speaking too soon. Hmm. looking pretty good okay quite impressed with the brush too right now on to cream products which one are you so i have a cream contour to try i do also have before i get into that i do have this she glam stereo face six french girl and it is if i can take those away six full full size full size huge sized cream products so like contour bronzer blush etc but i do have them individually so i will try this another day i did want to mention that i have this and yeah i'm looking forward to trying that one out too so for contour i have the she glam glowing up skin stick in the shade cinnamon um What does it say here? So, smooth contour and brighten your face with this multi-use highlighter, a soft creamy formula that's suitable for a variety of skin tones, easy to blend with a brush or with your fingers. The wide range of shade is suitable for a variety of skin tones and you can mix and match them depending on your mood. Okay, so basically they have these so that they can, they're multi-use. So I'm expecting this to be a bit glowy. I'm taking it out. Oh, okay. I, I'm not going to need a brush because am I going to use this? Do you know what? I'm going to give. Am I? No. No. Let's give the product a good a good go. But they, it does have a brush on the other end. So the side we are wanting to try is this side. Oh, that's actually really dark. It's darker than it looked on the website, so I'm literally just going to take just a little bit on the brush and let's see. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm not mad at this at all. That's actually a pretty good shade. Okay, I'm guessing it wouldn't look so good if I were to overdo it, <laughs> but I think that's the same with any contour, like cream contour. Okay, this is looking pretty good. All right then, so I'm just going to take a tiny bit just round the edge of my head where I would usually cream contour okay this is looking pretty good I'm just do a little bit around the jaw to try and conceal the double chin 
Okay, my initial worries about this being too dark. Well, it isn't. Okay. So if you are the same kind of skin shade, skin tone as me, then cinnamon will uh, be pretty good for you. Just going with the light hand. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, this I'm impressed with so far. Right, so next up, cream blush. I have here three. Don't ask me how I ended up with three. Um, but, yeah. So, first up, I have the Glowing Up Skin Stick, which is obviously the same design as that contour one which is also a skin stick, in Plum Wine. I won't need to read everything because it was all on the other one. So this is Plum Wine. Again, you've got the brush on one end and then the colour on this end. Now, I'm not going to be trying this one today because it is not the colour I'm wanting. I just wanted to show you that I have it. And then next up, oh, it's in one of these horrible little plastic things that I don't like. Let's get out of there. Right, go away. Right, so this is the She Glam Stay Glam Stay Stay Real is the Cosmic Cosmic Crystal Mousse Blush Rose Before Bros. Okay, have a look at this shade. Oh, okay, that could be a good shade have a feel of this okay it's more of a powdery one so I'm going to put that one aside because I do want the cream blush so I have here the spring it on cream to powder blush in permanent vacation and this one what oh, says not your basic blush so I'll just read the the little claims about not your basic blush this cream to powder formula from our spring it on collection infuses onto your skin like a literal dream plus it feels like butter but applies like a soft powder can you say swoon bonus it's made with tons of good stuff like rose extract and other skin loving ingredients so you can color with confidence Okay, so I have a feeling this is going to smell like rose. It's got the rose essence, but we'll see. So it's in a, a tube like this. And I'm just going to pop a little bit. It's very orangey. On the back of my hand like that. Okay, so let's dab it out first. And then just going to dab it on. Okay. Well, this is looking pretty good. Well, I'm actually going to need to grab some more of that for the other side. Yeah. Um, I love the colour. And the formula actually feels really nice. Okay. Well, that I am pretty happy with. Yeah, I'm I'm liking that too. Right, so that brings us to liquid highlighter. I do only have one of these. So this is the Spring It On liquid highlighter in the shade Fancy Fizz. True fact, glitter makes everything better and our luminous liquid highlighter from our Spring It On collection is no exception. Glide on some instant shine to your cheeks, brow bone or neck. Its skin soothing ingredients and rose extract will add its loving touch wherever it lands. Okay. 
Oh, the blush, I couldn't, there wasn't a, a scent that I could make out, so sounds good. And again, it's in one of these little tubes. And again, I'm going to pop a bit on the back of my, ooh, okay. This is what it looks like on the back of my hand. So I am going to go on with my finger a little bit. And then I'll go over it with the, the brush. Okay, is this raising the foundation? Right, you have to work quickly with that. Really quickly. Okay. Okay, I'm not, not as much a fan of this. Okay, no, I'm, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of that, unfortunately. Okay, so I'm just going to check here. Not much creasing there. And my base does actually look pretty good. Yeah, not loving the highlighter. It just looks like I've got a few bits of glitter stuck to my skin. Not loving it. The rest of my base, however, is looking really nice. So I have here the She Glam Baked Glow Setting Powder. And it says a weightless, translucent, highly oil control loose powder with eight something to 50 something particles that leaves your skin with a radiant, naturally flawless and airbrush like finish made with 100% talc free and light reflecting particles that give you soft glowy texture and minimalize that gives that give you a soft glowy texture and minimize and blur pores fine lines and wrinkles on all skin tones giving you ultra oil control experience without a greasy or cakey feeling for a whole day so i'm going to take a tiny amount on a brush make sure there's definitely no crease in before i go setting it and and okay so far so good right where is a big powder brush let's go for you i'm gonna have to tip some of you in there because that is too much right so let's see what it does with the rest of the face okay this you can barely feel that you are using anything oh okay i like the feel of my skin with this on not leaving a white cast on my skin or anything like that glowy hmm i wouldn't huh? i wouldn't say i look particularly glowy i don't look flat either though okay so far i'm liking the powder i love how finely milled it is Okay, so for brows, I have here the Skinny Brow Pencil. Let's just get into it. <laughs> All these long descriptions are doing me in. I have it in the shade. What shade do I have it in? Does it actually say? Ah, Dark Brown. Right, so it does actually say brush and then pencil. So we've got a brush, which is really tiny. I love the look of that. And then we have pencil, which again, really fine tip. 
Okay, looking forward to this. So firstly, I'm going to do my usual brush up the, the very few brow hairs that I have. It makes me feel better. Hmm. Cute little brush. Not really anything else that I can say to that. So let's have, let's have a go. So let me make sure I come close enough for you to see. Okay, so first, first impressions here, this is actually, it's not too creamy, but it's not too um, hard either, it's a little bit waxy. Well, this was definitely the right colour. Maybe it might pour a little bit warm, does it? Hmm, no, I'm not sure actually. I think that's my lighting. <laughs> impressions I quite like that okay so it does say here that it is a sweat proof oil proof formula made with a unique baking technology that allows the pencil formula stays non-sticky active CBD make your brows stay looking clean and fresh okay I'm not mad at my brows today so I have an eye primer here it is the ready set primer Let's see what it says here Behind every bomb eyeshadow is the She Glam Ready Set Primer to keep your colour in place, smudge and crease free, the way it's meant to be. Enjoy long, what's it? Enjoy, enjoy pumped up pigmentation and long lasting eye looks from AM to PM or PM to AM if that's your thing. Bonus, it's built in brush allows for super smooth application built-in brush okay let's have a look <laughs> ah it's not a brush it's a doe foot okay <laughs> so let's let's put some on here okay this is not what I was expecting actually. Alright then. So just taking a brush and I'm just gonna do what I would normally do. Yeah, it's completely transparent, so there's no colour correcting or anything. It's not gonna cover anything. Well, that has made my eye area look really smooth. Mm, doesn't feel particularly grippy either. So let's let's reserve judgment for the moment. Okay, so yeah, my eye area looks looks nice. <laughs> I don't know what else there is to say to it. So for eyeshadow, I have varying palettes from She Glam. However, I've chosen today to use Flutter Effect. And this is what she looks like. Obviously, there you can see there's no mirror here, so I will be using my own mirror. 
Um, yeah, I'm super excited to try this. So I'm going to go firstly into my crease with Blue Cocoon. It's more of a teal. It looks more blue on camera, I think. It's more of a tealy blue. Okay, picks up nicely. Let's just make sure that is completely... It feels quite powdery almost. I'm not sure. Okay. Pigment's not bad. I was very tempted just to go in with the proper greens, but I'm trying to just add in some different colours. I know that this is more, it's close, it's tealy, green, blue, but I don't know. It was calling to me. Okay, so. See if I can build that up just in the crease, the lower crease there. Okay. Well, it's not the best, but it's by no means the worst. Okay. Do I have to say there's no kick up in the pan with this shade? I don't know if that's going to be the same for all of them or we'll just have to wait and see. So for deepening the crease and outer V, I am going to go in with Night Falls, which is this shade here, like a deeper teal. There is a black in there, so if it doesn't get deep enough, there's that option. Okay, again, not really any kick up at all. I'm loving my base, apart from the glitter particles from that, like the liquid highlighter. It's the only bit I don't like about my base so far. Okay. Yeah, I think we're definitely going to want to go in with a bit of the black to deepen, but this is nice. And I love that there is the black in there. Because then it doesn't matter what colour combination you choose to use there is a deepening shade regardless okay i am i am not mad at this at all okay and then going in with jet set the black i'm intrigued to try that oh okay it picks up rather a lot oh obviously this brush won't pick up much and I think that's a good thing because this looks to be very pigmented okay well this is impressive this is a decent black okay Okay, I am not mad at that at all. I am going to take just a little smudgy brush and go back into Jet Set and I'm just going to stamp the tiniest bit just on the outer edge of my lower lash line here. It is super pigmented, super pigmented. But it does blend really good. I'm actually really impressed 
with this black I'm going to use that same brush just to pack a bit right in this outer area here And just nipping back in with the original brush I used for the black. Just want to soften that a bit. Right, so I'm just taking a little fluffy brush. And I am going to... Go into Blue Cocoon. There's just a little bit and I'm just going to use that to blend the lower, lower lash line there. I'm liking this. For how affordable this is, I was not expecting like great quality products, but so far I do have to say they're pretty good quality. Just based on first impressions, obviously. Okay, my eyes are feeling slightly slightly tacky, so I'm going to go in just straight away with the shimmers i'm not going to put down a glitter primer initially i just want to see what they do on their own so the for the outer so for the outer part of my lid i'm going to go in with teal of fortune <laughs> i love the play on words okay so it's picked up decently Okay. not bad at all obviously we're just straight on to the normal eye primer no glitter primer Ooh. okay I am not mad at that at all so for the rest of my lid I am going to go in with sky high and this looks to be, just by looking a slightly different formula to the one we just put on so let's let's see Hmm. Okay, let me just try a bigger brush. Maybe I should have gone in with glitter primer after all. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just getting a bit of the NYX glitter primer on the back of my hand there and let's get a brush come on that brush is where i am and i'm just going to pop some all over the lid right over where we have already gone with the shimmers so far let's try again so Going back into Teal of Fortune, the deeper shimmer. Okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's definitely performing better. Okay, so straight away that looks loads better. And then back into Sky High, which is the lighter one. Yeah, it's definitely a different formula. I think I prefer the formula of the teal. Yeah. It's not it's not bad, it's nice. Yeah, definitely the more almost chunky looking shimmer formula. I prefer that formula over this one, definitely. This is more of a subtle shimmer. It's the only way I can describe this. It's definitely looking nice though. I can't deny that. So yeah, are they the best eyeshadows? No. Are they good? Yeah, I wouldn't even necessarily say for the price. I would just say, yeah, they're good. They're good. And I'm just going to nip back in with the black just to this outer area, just to make sure that's still deep. I don't want to lose the depth that we have there. Okay. Yeah, I'm not mad at that. So yeah, this eyeshadow palette. So there seems to be two. So Flight Club and Teal of Fortune seem to be that kind of more metallic-y shimmer. Not majorly, but more so. And then we've got Sky High and Mint to Be. And also Royal Rush they seem to be that um, kind of more subtle shimmery formula but yeah I'm not mad at it not mad at it at all so I did pick up an eyeliner and it says hold live for eyeliner I'm a little confused but all of the writing on this one appears to be in um and how we can see chinese writing i think yeah so let's let's get this out and we'll have a see so so this is what the pen looks like and it's got a very fine nib it's got the ball in to shake it up so let's have a see. Okay. Well, this is going on really nice. Well, this was really easy to apply. Not bad at all. I do have some lashes to try. Just says She Glam. No, no other name. So I'm going to get these popped on. I'll probably pop a, a liner in my waterline and then we'll come back to continue. Okay, so eyes finished. The lashes, I think, are just beautiful. They're really big, they're really fluffy. I love them. I love them. And I am trying out a new to me um, lash adhesive um, because I really struggle with the glues and I cannot get on with any of them but this so it's the Sosu lash adhesive latex free I picked it up on Beauty Bay so far so good actually really really liked using that and the mascara, of course, is the Medeja Lash Mascara from Madage Beauty. 
and in my waterline I have the Colourpop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Icebreaker. I just thought it went really well. Okay, so for blush, powder blush, I only have... Do I only have the one? No, I don't only have the one. Which ones do I want? So this Crystal Mousse Blush, um, obviously when I swatched that, that was more like, more powdery. So I do have this one. And I also have this one here. So this is the Lightweight Matte Blush. And this is the one I'm actually gearing towards towards using um comes this really lovely little compact it looks really nice and then this here is the blush so yeah i think this is the one i'm going to be using it's in the shade tangerine so i'm just dabbing right in the middle yeah i really don't like that liquid highlighter it's just left me with just glitter particles all over my face which i'm not enjoying i don't mind a glittery highlight but there's no highlight it's just glitter and this is a nice buildable blush i love the color really nice I do love the kind of peachy, peachy shade blushes. And this is really nice to apply. That looks beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So yeah, love that. And then for highlighter, I have three <laughs> highlighters. So the first one is the metallic glow highlighter in the shade stay sane i'm not going to stay sane if it was this difficult to get out <laughs> right so it's that side so this here is stay sane really beautiful purple i don't know as that's going to go today and then next up we have the metallic glow highlighter in solo and this one is more of a champagne-y color and then lastly this one is this one is called an ombre blush but it's in the shade matcha it doesn't look like a blush to me at all it's green so I am going to I think I'm actually no oh, I'm actually going to go in with solo today all right get it open again so yeah using solo okay this is more more like it and so this is more of a buildable, buildable highlighter. Oh, okay. You can, so I like to really shine and wow. Okay. Yeah. At first I didn't think it was going to build up to be that kind of intense, but Oh, I love it. And a bit down the centre of the nose. I will use this also for um, inner corner and brow bone highlight. Yeah, I really like this. That is beautiful. So I'm just going to go over with the blusher brush. No extra blush on there, just to just to kind of mesh them together a bit. Oh, yeah. 
I'm loving this. Absolutely loving it. Right, so let's let's use it for inner corner and brow bone. So I don't actually have a setting spray from She Glam, so I'm just going to use my Makeup Obsession So Dope Fixing Spray and just give it a quick spritz. Knock everything about. That's looking better. That's better. And then just taking a little bit and just kind of tucking that up and under the brow, brow, brow there. Yeah, I like this a lot. So for lipstick, firstly, I have a lip liner. So what does this say? Beauty lip, oh, beauty tip for your lips. Hmm. Ah, so this is the She Glam Velvet Matte Lip Liner. I have it in the shade Neutral. So we're gonna have a look and see what this looks like. So I love this packaging, it is beautiful. Okay, so it's quite a quite a brownie colour. That's the shade there. Not sure whether or not I'm going to be using that today. It depends on which lipstick we go for. So the first lipstick I have is the She Glam Eye Candy Matte Lipstick in the shade Pool Party. And let's take her out. And I love this little component. So it's like a matte top and the shiny bottom. Love it. And this is the shade of this one. This one actually could go with the liner. Hmm, not too bad. So yeah, that's the first one. And then we have here the She Glam Velvet Cantina Lipstick. And this one is in the shade Purple, is it Purple Charm. Oh, I love this package. Is it the top? Oh, if you press the top, it comes out. I only know that because Steph Toms did it. This I've obviously screwed up in the lid, but this is Purple Charm. I'll put a bit of that on. So, this one here is Purple Charm. Nice. And then I have another one of the Velvet Cantina lipsticks. And this one is in the shade Poison Ivy. And again, another one of these cool little components. That. <laughs> Easily pleased. And this is a green. And that's the green right there. So what do we want to go in with today? Do I want green? Purple? I think I'm actually going to try. So I'm going to go in with the lip liner just to, I really want to see what, what the formula of this is like. It's creamy, but nowhere near too creamy. Oh, now I've got this on. I'm actually I'm thinking I might go with pool party. Yeah, 
So let's let's have a see. Ooh. This is a nice formula. Hmm. Yeah, I I really like this. So this here is the finished look. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Everything I popped on will be listed in the description box below for you to check out should you wish to. So let's have a chat. I'm just going to have a quick close up look. My base, my base is looking just beautiful. I cannot complain at how my base is looking. The brows slightly on the warm side, the pencil, but it worked. I like the formula of it. Yeah, not bad at all. The eyeshadow, is it the best you're going to find? No, but it is really good. It is a, a solid good formula, if that makes sense. Not just good for the price. Yeah, it's a good, good eyeshadow formula. Um, yeah, I love the finished look. These eyelashes are something else. They were so easy to apply, but I feel like I could flutter myself and fly away. <laughs> love it. Yeah, all the base products I, I loved. The only thing that I've tried today that I didn't like is the liquid highlighter. I didn't like that at all. Not at all. But yeah, everything else, if you ignore these specks of glitter everywhere from the glitter highlighter, then uh, yeah, I'm I'm very happy with this. I love this lipstick. It's so comfortable. It's like really creamy and comfortable and I love the colour. The lip liner was easy to use. It was creamy without being too creamy. Yeah beautiful the blushes the highlighter the powder one um yeah i can't complain i cannot complain i am just blown away that i can get a look like this from such a really affordable brand blown away so yeah i would happily recommend everything apart from the liquid highlighter that I tried today um yeah everything else just yeah I love it so I yeah I have a few of the other palettes so I will be giving them a go here and there um I doubt they'll get their own video but they might go into a, a full face of first impressions or something something like that maybe a karma chameleon we'll just have to wait and see um but yeah, overall, I I am so happy with this look. And now I am going to be filming another video and I am more than happy to be wearing this look for that video. So yeah, that's it from me for today. I have, I've loved trying all these products out. If you've enjoyed this video, then please do give it a thumbs up, like it, it really helps me out. If you are new around here, then hi i'm steph i am a lover of all things makeup but especially colorful makeup i'm a huge supporter of indie brands so mostly what you will find on my channel is indie brands so yeah if that sounds like something you'd be interested in then please do hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next time i upload Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all having a great day, great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.